welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to start going through the International A Level at Excel October 2021 Mechanics M1 exam. And um, I'm going to start going through this exam, starting with question one and may answer the questions one by one. Um, so I can, <coughs> I can classify them according to the playlists where they are for this paper and also for the particular topic of each question. So question number one here in this paper is about a non-uniform rod which has a length of nine meters as shown in the diagram and a mass m kilograms. We don't know the mass. So the rod rests in equilibrium in a horizontal position on two supports, one at C where AC is 2.5 meters and the other at D where DB is two meters as shown in figure one. The magnitude of the force acting on the rod at D is twice the magnitude of the force acting on the rod at C. The center of the mass, the center of mass of the rod is D meters from A. Find the value of D. Okay, so we've got the situation here. I've just drawn the diagram down here so you can see what's going on. Now we don't know. Uh, well, what we know so far is the supports. There are forces acting on the support. Okay, of course, if from the support, basically. So the force acting on the rod from the support at C and D. We know about those. We don't know their values, but we know in relation to each other how what, the, what those forces are in relation to each other. So it tells us that the magnitude of the force acting on the rod at D okay, is twice that acting at C. Let's call this R. This is going to be 2R, twice. The force at D is twice that at C. Okay, And the center of the mass is D meters from A. Now, we don't know what the center of mass is because it's a non-uniform rod. So the center of mass is not in its geometric center. If, it's a, if it was a uniform rod, then of course we would know it's, it's right halfway along at 4.5 meters from the end. But as it's non-uniform, we don't know. So I'm going to just um, put D over here somewhere. We don't know exactly where it is, but I'll just put it anywhere, just randomly somewhere over there. So this is going to be um, the mass, which we don't know what it is. The mass is m kilograms, so we'll just put m. That's m times g newtons. m times g newtons. Okay, that's the weight. And the distance from A, the distance from A is basically, let's make it a bit smaller. The distance from A of, of the center of mass is D meters, which is what we have to find in this question. Okay, so what we need to do from this is we can set up a pair of equations. Um, we can set up you know, a few equations, actually. Uh, let's have a look at what equations we can set up. We can set up an equation um, resolving the forces vertically. Now, the, there's no weight that resting on this it's only the weight of itself okay so what we can say is r r plus 2r is equal to mg that's one equation we can we can make from this so we can say 3r is equal to mg so mg is equal to 3r okay that's what we can say um that's one thing um another thing we can say if we take moments about the point a the reason being because we want to find the value of D, and we have the values of R in terms of each other, so it's not like one of them is unknown completely. They're, in, they're both in terms of each other, so it's not a big, it's not a problem for us. Um, if, for example, we had to eliminate one of them, we would take moments about C or D, but here I think taking moments about A will probably be most sensible. So if we look at the clockwise moments about A, you just have the weight times D, which we don't know what it is. The weight times the distance, that's the clockwise moment about A. And that's equal to the anti-clockwise moment about A, which is basically this R times 2.5. R times 2.5 plus, and you got 2R times, and then you got this distance over here. You have the distance between this point and that point. And that distance is, is going to be 9 minus 2, which is seven meters the total distance is seven meters because the whole distance is nine and from a to d from d to b is two 
that's 7 meters. So that's going to be 2R times 7. Okay, so we can say Mg times D is equal to 2.5R plus 14R. So Mg times D is equal to 16.5R. Okay, so now we want to find the value of D. So we've got a pair of simultaneous equations here, which I can solve. I have um, the unknowns are M and D and R. Okay, M and D and R. So we need to find the value of um, these. So what we can do is we can say that let's replace MG with 3R. So we have 3R e times D. So I know that MG equals 3R, so I can replace MG with 3R. And that's equal to 16.5 times R. Now the R's will cancel. And you've got D equals 16.5 divided by 3. Okay, so you have 16.5 divided by 3, which gives you 11 over 2, which is 5.5. .5. So D is equal to 5.5 meters. So we can say D is 5.5 meters, and there's the answer to this question. Okay, so we form two equations, one from resolving the forces vertically, because it's an equilibrium. The upward forces and the downward forces balance out. The only forces acting on the beam itself are the reactions from the supports and its weight. Okay, and here we are considering just the forces acting on the beam. Of course, there's also a reaction from the beam on the support that's acting equally and opposite in the opposite direction, but we're not considering forces acting on the supports. We're considering the, act, the forces only that's acting on the beam itself. So you have these two forces acting on the beam. You have the weight acting on the beam due to gravity, and those are balanced because it's an equilibrium. And also the moments, the clockwise moments about any point that you want to take the moments about will also be um, balanced because it's an equilibrium. So if we take moments about A, the clockwise moments and the anti-clockwise moments will be the same. Um, so they'll be equal to each other. So the clockwise moments, mg times d, equals r times 2.5 plus 2r times 7. And that gives us our second equation. And we have something now with mg as your mass is unknown and your r is unknown. But because we can express the mass in terms of r, mg equals r, we can then replace the mg with 3r, mg equals 3r. So we replace the mg with 3r, and then you see the r's cancel out, leaving us with just something in terms of d. So we've solved the problem. Okay, so it's pretty simple. First question here about um, moments and, and statics. Um, so that's question number one done. Other questions from this paper will be found on the playlist that should appear in the top of this area somewhere over here at the end of the video. Other questions from this topic of moments, you'll find them in this uh, playlist that should appear somewhere over there. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.